If you are new to the channel, then subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification. Okay, students, I welcome you all to lecture 38 of the switchgear protection course. So today we are going to see percentage bias differential scheme with harmonic restraint. So why does this came? This came into the picture uh, due to the uh, inrush phenomena. So a little bit about inrush phenomena. So inrush is a current um, which is 8 to 10, 20 times of your normal current. 8 to 20 times of your normal current and it is transient in nature and it lasts for a very few seconds. So my differential protection should not trip for, it should not treat it as a fault because it will treat it as a fault. Why? Because your input current will be very high and output it is unloaded. So it is more than your normal load current. So there will be difference always. So that difference will cause the differential protection should trip will trip but we, sh we want it should not trip in this phenomena so how we will do it how we will uh, how will uh, prevent our relay to trip in this phenomena inrush is also experienced during large and sudden load change if there is a large or uh, sudden load change or voltage change then also it is happen there is one more term which is known as sympathetic inrush so if there is a inrush in a transformer then 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 in the adjacent transformer also can feel same inrush phenomena and adjacent nearby transformer also experience inrushes due to the inrushes in the actual transformer or a switching in the nearby transformer. Now the inrush phenomena, the inrush currents which is very rich in harmonics, very rich in harmonics, the harmonic contents are very high along with the large DC components. So this makes it different from our normal fall current. So normal fall current harmonics are not so high. So here harmonics are rich. So this makes the difference between the normal current and inrush current. So why not utilize this? difference uh, to create the difference between these two phenomena so that my relay should sense which one is fault and which one is inrush. So that's why it is known as harmonic restraint, percentage bias harmonic restraint call it. This large presence of harmonic is utilized, not it, is utilized here. Okay, now how will you utilize it? Now if you see this is my transformer, two side, two, seat, two circuit breakers are there and then two cities, one city, city one, city two. So you know this was the my connection, current should flow in this way. This was my normal convention. These two are restraining coil, this was operating coil in my percentage bias differential protection. But here, this and this are not directly, in percentage bias, this was directly connected to operating coil and this itself was operating coil and these two itself was a restraining coil. But here, a little difference is created here it is not directly feed into operating or it is not directly feed into restraining rather something has been taken out from it using this again a transformer so this coil and this coil you can see so this coil is sensing the current through this and this is sensing the current through this so this is not directly given to operating coil and this is not direct to given to operator. Which one is given to operating coil? We will see these and this using something from these and this. Now here no filter is connected, no LC is connected. So what is the current it flows here? This is the circulating current or throw fall current we say or external fall current we can say or normal uh, current we can say. This flows along this path. So this path is restraining coil. So here, because there is no filter is used, so whatever flows through here, it will directly come into the picture of 3 and 4. So 3 and 4 will have fundamental component plus harmonics, everything, because it is directly taking, no filter is there. So it will give the full, the restraining coil, whatever normal restraining coil has, the throw fall current passes through it. So entire throw fall current will come into the picture in 3, 4. Now what will come in 1? 0 and 1 if I connect between 0 and 1 you can see there is a series LC circuits so it's a filter what type of filter it is a low pass filter so it will pass only the fundamental no harmonics will pass through it and you can see there is a parallel LC filter so parallel LC what does it do it blocks the fundamental that is a high pass filter so it will pass only the high frequency component that means you 0 and 1 if you connect between 0 and 1 something between 0 and 1 then what you will sense you will sense only fundamental so this will give me only fundamental if i connect this between these two a coil that coil will get current which is which will have this current will have only fundamental now if i connect between 0 and 2 between 0 and 2 then i will if i connect a coil between 0 and 2 then a current will pass on which only harmonics will be there 
nothing else and this current is your spill current the current that is driving the uh, operating torque to rotate so you can think in rest in case of inrush current all your inrush current will flow through this because transformer will because this side will be zero current and all currents will be this side only so inrush current will flow through this so from this inrush current because it is having high reach in harmonics so between zero and two you will get a good amount of current harmonic components presence okay now let us connect this is the normal connection this is the connection that is done now in the relay how this restraining coil is connected suppose in the relay this is my restraining coil relay is in separate now so relay has a restraining coil now in that restraining coil we are feeding 3 4 3 4 is what 3 4 is your normal restraining current this was normal this current is used to flow in normal percentage bias also through restraining coil so 3 or 4 will giving the same current so there is no change so 3 and 4 if i connect through a breeze it will give the same current that normal circulating current okay now this is the extra 0 and 2 0 and 2 this also we are giving this training what does 0 and 2 measure 0 and 2 measures the harmonic you can see 0 and 2 0 and 2 measures the harmonics of the spill current so in case of load fault in case of fault this will be negligible this will be less but in case of harmonic this will be very high so in case of harmonic extra restraining will come extra restraining means it will block the rotation it will not allow the rotation restraining torque will be more so you can see in case of harmonic because you will have high values here because it will be having reach in harmonic so 0 and 2 will give you high values due to which the restraining coil will get additional current due to which it will restrain the it will produce a torque in restraining direction that is not in operating the opposite direction so it will hold the relay back so your relay will not operate now and what does in operating coil in operating coil normal 0 and 1 0 and 1 what it, it is it is the fundamental component you can see 0 and 1 is the fundamental component of the operate normal operating current flows through this so from that operating current we separated we separated harmonics we separated fundamental part harmonics we have given in the restraining part so that the current if had harmonic it should restrain and the currents if had less harmonic so in that case restraining will not be that much that is our fault current now you got it so this spill current has been taken into two part one is harmonic part one is fundamental part and this harmonic is fitted into restraining this fundamental has been fitted into operating so what will happen in case of fault current if that there is a fault i have because i have high fundamental so operating torque will be high it will trip what will be in rush current in rush current because it is high harmonic so our restraining coil will be more so it will not trip so this is the idea behind your uh, percentage bias differential protection uh, harmonic restraint relay so i think that's all for today if you like the video then press the like button and please give your valuable comments in the comment section